the nest rda by nature vape and eris vapors i think it's named eris vapor the nest <coughs> There was a few tanks since I started vaping that I was quite excited to review. And this is one of them. Um, for me, mesh coils was always a no-no. I once got a, a dry hit from a mesh coil. And I must tell you, that experience left me gasping for air. And I said it's not worth the hassle. If I want mesh, it's stock coil only. Um, until this arrived, the nest, and when I saw the design, I said, this is one tank I need to get my hands on, and here it is, and I must tell you, I'm very happy I got it, because this is something extraordinary, and really, Mark from Nature Vape deserves all the credit due for this design. And the flavor, wow. Okay, before we talk about it a bit more, obviously, um, let me put you down low where I built this tank. And I was a bit nervous when I opened the box and checked it out. And I must confess, I did watch Mark do it. And it seemed fairly easy. Uh, and it was very easy. So let's go down below to the build and wick. And then we'll come back up and talk about it. The Nest RDA from Nature Vape and Aris Vapor. Am I spelling it correct? Yes. I'm very excited to review this tank. I heard quite a lot about it. Um, I never vaped before mesh RDAs. But this is a unique and innovative tank. So hopefully I'll be able to build it fairly easy. I hope. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got here. This is the user manual. Um, yeah. I actually watched Mark from Nature Vape how he set up his tank and now hopefully I will be um, successful first attempt well we'll find out soon enough so warranty and this is the RDA Well, you can't really see all the markings of the nest when it's in black. Um, yeah, if it was silver, you'll be able to see all the lines and the logo a lot better. But it's your taste preference if you like it. Um, clean looking or with the design right let's put this for a minute aside and see what else we've got here we get the screwdriver and the coiling tool that we'll need to set up the coil and uh, what's in here Okay, that's it. That's the box empty. And here you've got all the mesh coils. So you've got cancel. You've got NI80, Nicro. And you've got stainless steel. Two, actually. Um, and then you've got the strips of cotton. 
Apparently, one of them is some kind of seaweed type of cotton. The other one is another type of cotton. We'll talk about it um, on top. And then you got another pad, a muji pad, cotton. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do my own muji pad cotton. So I will learn how to do it with that with me with not having me to buy more cotton all the time so i'll just copy this type of strip so i'll know for the future what size i need so we'll put this maybe i'll just take out one just to get the width right put this over here and here you got o-rings extra screws and that is it Okay, so let's move everything aside. And which coil should I use? Um, since I've got two of the stainless steel, we'll try the stainless steel today. And I must confess, I've never done a mesh coil before. So this is a first for me. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's have a look at the tank itself and the, and the RDA. Let's move this aside. So, we'll start with the mouthpiece. Well, let, me, let me first take out the lift up the deck. Mm. So, this is the deck. Now, in here in the center, the coil is supposed to go in and clamped down here. And then you surround this with cotton. And that's why you shouldn't get a dry hit because it's going to be surrounded with plenty of cotton to give, um, to keep the inner, the coil itself, and the inner chamber, what I call it, the strip of cotton that will be surrounding the coil with plenty of juice. Yeah, so it'll be exciting to see how we set this up. <laughs> um, right, the airflow is fairly straightforward, very straightforward, and it comes to a full stop as well. So that's good because if you carry on turning it, it will dismantle the tank. Very easy. Airflow and it's a bottom airflow. And the mouthpiece is uh, well, you go an O ring inside the, um, the cap, the dome, and the coil, uh, the mouthpiece is a plain mouthpiece. We'll go through the various specs of this uh, tank later on. Let's now try and build this coil. So what I'm going to do is let's move everything aside. This is my normal Japanese organic Muji pad. So I'm going to just copy this width. So like this, I get the width right for the future reference. Right. So, I'll just cut a piece. Now this is a bit thicker than the strip they gave you. So what I'm going to do is, anyway, I take off the upper layers so I'm going to just take out a bit extra this time to keep it within the same thickness. So here I've got a very similar strip to what they gave me. Now we take the coil and we take the coiling tool. And 
and what I'm doing is I'm twisting it together and um, take my strip of cotton and well one minute before I do that I got to take out this piece here now, how am I meant to take this out? How do I grab hold of it? Hmm. Let me try to take a tweezer. There we go. Out. So this you need to take out before you... Um, Start building the coil. Okay, so now let's start again. So we'll twist the coil, take my strip of cotton, and turn it around the coil. So obviously you start the edge of the cotton to the beginning of the coil and you have to get it in line that it should actually cover the whole surface of the coil. It's like a bit like a rolling cigarette. <laughs> yeah. And now, I think I've got enough cotton here. You want to keep it fairly tight. And cut off the, ac the excess. And so what you've got is, is the coil surrounded with cotton. Now you lower it to the edge of this coiling tool and you put this in this we have to make sure that it doesn't fold when you're actually putting it in And I think I got it. So what you got is, is the cotton in this tool, in this, whatever you call this, coil compartment, um, with the two um, pieces of the coil sticking out. So now what you do is, you fold these downwards in order for you later to put it in the, in the deck. So now I'll just fit it in and press down and take out the coiling tool and just press this down to make sure that it's in. I hope it's in. It's got an O-ring at the bottom. Yeah, it's in. So what you get is a mesh coil uh, with the two um, pieces of wire sticking out. So now what I'm going to do is open up these screwdrivers and uh, these screws. Quite a good screwdriver actually, and quite beefy screws as well, so it makes life easier. And what you do is you hold your finger around the coil, it shouldn't move. And um, tighten it. Well, maybe I'll just give it a bit of a twist. So what I'm doing is I'm just twisting these out a bit so it'll actually go in into the grooves 
So when I tighten the screws, Now, one thing occurred to me just now, I can't dry fire it to test it, because the minute I dry fire it, um, I'll burn the cotton. So, I have to hope that this works. I mean, I can test the ohms to see if it registers. Okay. While I'm holding my finger down, so I'm holding it in place. I don't want to over tighten these screws because I don't want to ru ruin the thread. I think it's strong enough. So what you've got is now the coil in place. This is tied down. Let's now cut it. Mm -hmm. One and two. Uh, here, I didn't cut it close enough. Uh, I think I did cut it. Okay. So let's try see what if it read, what's the ohm. 0 0.66 came up as Doesn't sound right does it well we'll try it soon when we um, try it out okay so now what we do is we put cotton inside um, I hope I'm doing it right. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, this size piece of cotton. Um, and just I'll take off the outer layer. And then apparently you just get them into strips. Keep them fluffy. And start feeding them in. If this works, it's fairly easy to do. Very easy to do, in fact. The only thing is that I'm thinking, normally with an RDA, RTA, after a while you want to clean the coil. Um, so you take out the cotton and you dry fire the coil, dip in the water. I'm sure you've seen me, I've, I've done a review how to do it. But how do I do it on this build? Um, let's say I take out all the cotton. How do I get out, I take out the inner chamber cotton around the mesh coil um, how do I put it back so it looks to me as if I'm gonna have to undo the whole coil out hoping that when I put it back I have enough leg to tie it down again by the screw so I don't think you should cut it down too short Obviously, short enough, it shouldn't touch the deck, the, um, the cap, so there was a get a short, but long enough for you to enable you to um, take out the coil and um, clean it. I think I've got too much cotton here. a bit to the right it has to be functional it doesn't have to look right it just has to be functional you shouldn't get no dry hits uh, 
I think uh, I've done it so far. I haven't tested it yet. Moment of truth will come soon. But that's the way it should look like. So you've got the, the coil surrounded with this strip of cotton. And then as a safeguard, that's the whole idea of this tank. You stuff in this cotton to keep the inner cotton moist at all times. Right, so what liquid should I use? Well, I found this knocking about. I'm sure if Mark from Nature Vape is watching this, he will recognize this. This is from Mark's juice, e juice line. Um, so I thought it's only fitting to try this on this tank. And this is the mango peach papaya. I must confess, I haven't, I, I don't think even I tried it, maybe I tried it once. I do apologize to Mark, but somehow it was in the back of my e-liquid cupboard and somehow forgotten, but it was probably this was the right moment for it. So now we just f fill up this um, bay with juice. Now, apparently, I mean, you can see how many drops I'm putting in. Well, I'm, I'm not going to start counting the drops, but um, quite a lot can get in here. Does smell very fruity. I hope this works because otherwise I just wasted 20 minutes of my time. So obviously if you're watching this now, it worked. But for me, I'm not sure. Quite a lot of juice. Um, I put in quite a lot already. Um, one thing is that the reason why I'm got this tank is because is no dry hits. So for me, that was the only deterrent when it came to mesh. I tried it once and I nearly choked. Well, I think I put in a massive amount of juice in here. Um, Yeah, so we try it. One minute, maybe I need to add some more juice. Maybe then saturate it all the way down. I'm putting a massive amount of juice, I must say. It's like... F well, it is doing something. Ah, now you see the ohms has gone to 0 0.21. So, and this was, I think, the original... Um, that was the ohms of this coil, 0 0.2 ohm. So it is registering. So you know what? Let's put it in uh, back on and I'll put it on a mod. Now I put in a massive amount of juice. No leakage, as promised. Amazing. Right, I'm going to use for this review the um, Argus GT mod. I think it'll look quite nice on it. Uh, let's see. 0 0.22. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, 
50 watts let me reduce it to 40 just in case let's give this a go whoa 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 sorry about that that's working all right oh yeah the flavor oh well success it was very easy i must say and the airflow is nice and airy let's close it down i'm closing this halfway down lovely restriction let me just open it just a bit more amazing um, let me take out the smells piece and add a bit more juice so you just dump it in i suppose on the sides you go around around the edge now I put in, have you seen how much I put in? Quite a few mils. And no leaking. For an RDA, for a dripper, amazing achievement. And it looks quite good on this mod, I must say. no gurgling put in loads of juice no gurgling right okay so i'm going to use this now for a bit and then i'll finish this review okay see you in a second right so you've seen how i built and wicked it it was very easy um and i used my own muji pads to surround that coil i didn't want to use um what was supplied because that means that um i can build my own with my own mesh and my own cotton that i've got tons of now when i spoke about below um these st uh, strips so it's written i'm looking at, at the nature vape website and one of one of them is a hemp cotton the other one is pulp and the other one is alginate fiber cotton um you can watch mark's review on it how he built his tank i'll explain to you a bit more about the cotton but uh, i used my normal um mujis and you can see yourself it is fully saturated i've been vaping this now for a few hours um i added a bit more juice in there i don't normally vape during the day fruit flavors or desserts i normally vape my tobacco as you all know if you follow my channel but on this occasion i took this out with me and i showed the guys this tank everyone is super excited about it actually and they're actually waiting for this review to come up um when i first saw this tank I said to one of the guys in the office, keep an eye on, on Nature Vapes website. As soon as it's available, get it. And um, yeah, so I got it fairly quickly. Um, set it up the following day. And I've been using this the whole day now. And I must tell you, the flavor is superb it's superb it, this is a rebuildable mesh coil but without the risk of dry hit um, this is innovation at its best sense of the word i mean i i already i'll put in a bit more juice the only thing is i found that sometimes it's a bit difficult you have to, to take off the mouthpiece you need to really grip it and wiggle it a bit to get it out but i already put in quite a lot of juice in it already 
Uh, I'm going to put in a bit more of this actually a very good juice, true juice that is also on, on, on Nature Vape. Mango peach papaya. It's very fruity and delicious. Uh, I never reviewed this liquid and I, I, I forgot about it at all. So I found it. I thought, what liquid should I use in this tank? I mean, you can see how much I'm putting in loads. I mean, it's already saturated from before. Um, you can finish a 50 ml bottle with this tank very quickly indeed. And you can see, should I attempt it? Mm? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, have I got tissue here? No. Well, uh, you know, uh, I think there is in here at least 10 ml, I don't know, 7 ml. I'm not, I have no idea how much, but loads and nothing has come out. Um, that is amazing. This idea of surrounding your mesh coil with so much cotton. This, I can vape this now most probably for a good few hours. And this is completely saturated. Completely. I mean, I'll open this deck. Look, fully saturated. Fully saturated. Amazing. And no leakage at all. Uh, th this is this is a, a brilliant idea. No gurgling. If I keep the mouth the airflow fully open. Most vapors would like it fully open because there is a little bit of restriction in here and it's perfect, but I like it a bit more restricted. A huge amount of vapor, but the flavor is completely genuine to what the manufacturer of this juice wanted you to taste it's so accurate um if you ask me if is this better than a normal uh, mesh coil stock coil for sure you see i never tested a mesh rta since that dry hit um, but i know that i've got rtas and rdas and this comes up trumps with amazing flavor The knowledge that I can vape this without risking a dry hit puts my mind at ease knowing that I will not get a dry hit. This is six milligrams of nicotine, so I have to be careful. I'm, I'm taking very long draws. Um, yeah, but it delicious flavor. The ohms come up as a 0 0.22 ohm. And according to the website on Nature Vape, the Nest RDA comes with three coil options, stainless steel 0 0.2. And I put in the stainless steel. Very nice of him to add um, the cancel and the nichrome that I will test in a later date. I doubt very much if it will make any much difference in flavor. But this mod has got temperature control. I might use it one day on temperature control. If I didn't take with me a bottle of liquid, for instance, and I don't want to get a dry hit. Well, I mean, if you're going to vape this for hours on end without topping up nothing, eventually, eventually, <laughs> you're going to dry out the cotton. Um, but it's very unlikely. I mean, this should last me now for hours. For hours. Um, they give you, as I said, below the O-rings, quite a lot of O-rings here. Um, and it was very easy to build. You saw yourself how easy it was. Just get around, cut it, put it in. You, you saw how I done it. Mouthpiece is comfortable. One advantage with the black is, well, some people is advantage, some people disadvantage, that you can't see all the, 
you can see the logo you can see you see here the logo nest you can see the twigs I suppose that's what it is like a nest uh, I understand the, the sense of calling it nest because it's like a nest surrounded with material um, yeah but the black one looks if you didn't look closely you wouldn't know what RDA that is that adds a bit to the mystery so when someone asks you what RDA are you using then if you look closely you can see it's the nest but as it is it looks like a very elegant nicely shaped compact RDA and it looks quite good on this mod I must say on the Argus GT from Vupu yeah looks very nice indeed meant for it and you get a huge amount of vapor I mean let me give you just an example definitely for those who love clouds yeah this is perfect for me the advantages are easy to build easy well easy to coil easy to wick no dry hits that's the main attraction of this tank to me and I love the design I love the innovation of it I can't find any con uh, vaping this for a few hours now I can't find any problem with it just works perfect one thing I ought to think about one thing I mentioned below how do I clean this coil after let's say a week two weeks I want to change my coil my cotton um, well RT my tobacco I change every two days but this I only vape in the evenings after a week let's say I want to change the cotton so I'll take out the outer chamber, the outer, this one here, the, the mass of cotton, then I'll be left with the center. How do I change the central one without actually taking out the coil? Because how would I put it back? So the only solution is to un take out the cotton, undo your coil, take it out, but then it will be twisted already to shape, right? and leave enough of the legs here for you to put it back so don't cut it past this this lip right and take out take out the cotton fire the coil wash it under the tap or something get it cleaned and um, then do the whole the, the procedure again shouldn't take you long but I think that's the only way of uh, maintaining these coils to last for a while you don't want it to be like a stock coil that as soon as it's the flavor has gone down a bit you throw it out no you should sh be able to preserve it for quite a while so these coils that he's given the spare ones should last you for a while if you use the method that I'm thinking of unless you've got other ideas how to do it maybe if Mark is watching this if you could enlighten us if I want to clean the coil is that the method to do it um, yeah besides that I can't see any but that's a technical issue not not a problem very nice indeed okay I uh, put I'll put all the specification that I copied from uh, nature vape the website to the description below I would love to hear your comments your experience and how you got on with it um, and well done Mark from Nature Vape for designing a mesh tank for all vapors to use even those who don't normally vape mesh like myself well that with that I'll conclude this review until next time take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now